you told me once that um, homosexuality is not normal, and, and what would happen if they tried to make it normal? Well, homosexuality is an aberration. That is a, a deviation from the fact. And uh, the, the deviation, in this case, if, uh, if homosexuality were the norm, we wouldn't have this problem we're discussing now because there would be no human race. So if homosexuality were normalized, people would not have children because when a man mates with another man, he doesn't get pregnant. Yeah, that's right. Uh, homosexualities do not, uh, does not reproduce, it recruits. Interesting, so the only way they can uh, propagate their own kind is to recruit the children of heterosexuals. Correct. And that's why they're so interested in marriage for the access to children. Wow. That's why gay people want equal rights to have access to kids to convert them into being gay. You know, these guys are absolutely off their rocker, certifiably, I drool on myself insane. No, the reason why people want gay rights, including myself, and I would argue all rational people, is because we don't want them to be arbitrarily discriminated against because of who they are naturally attracted to. It is totally and utterly arbitrary if somebody's attracted to somebody with the same goddamn genitals. Why should you take away their, the tax rights that they have or the social security inheritance rights or whatever the case is because you don't approve of who they're, they're with? It's none of your goddamn business. And obviously it has nothing to do with trying to recruit people into being gay. I don't know if you know this, but gay people don't wanna make everybody gay. They just wanna live their own lives without being persecuted by you. And then I love the other uh, claims they make. Uh, homosexuality is not, uh, is not natural. Look, uh, every time I hear this argument, the, uh, there's always the, the gigantic flaw is screaming in my mind. Okay, the definition of something that's natural is it occurs in nature, right? Homosexuality occurs in nature. So how can it not be natural? Now that doesn't mean that everybody's gay, right? But there are, there's a certain percentage of the human population that is gay and has always been gay and it fluctuates a little bit here and there, but it exists just like it exists in many other you know, species of animals. And it is natural for some species and in other species have uh, no gayness whatsoever. And for those species, it's natural to not have it. But what is for certain is that uh, for humans, it is natural in a certain percentage uh, of the species. And then notice something, man, because every time I hear somebody make this case, I'm, I'm stunned that they don't realize the implication of what they're saying. And we've heard Brian Fisher make this case, Ted Haggard uh, had made this case, and you know what happened with him. He got caught with a, a gay hooker with crystal meth. They say, no, if homosexu homosexuality was the norm, then uh, there would be no more human race. Now, think about what they're saying there. Because that's a, that's a bold claim. And what they're saying is, well, obviously, if you allow men to fuck men and get married and allow women to fuck women and get married, then clearly, men will only want to fuck men. Duh. The only thing stopping them is the law that says, don't do it. Second you allow it, all bets are off. Are you kidding me? Stephen will, Stephen will be over to see... Uh, Barry in 14 minutes and they're gonna get ready to get down and dirty. Now, why do they say that? And why do they believe that? The more important part, they believe that. They believe that because that's how they think. They think, well, fuck, the second you normalize it, obviously, all I'll wanna do is blow Sean. <laughs> obviously, the only interest I have is in dudes. So if you normalize it, then yeah, fuck women, I'm done with them 100%, I'll only go to the guys. So what's really going on here is these guys are repressed gays. And I mean, look, it's not surprising because they overcompensate so much that they make it obvious. And I always compare it to, you ever had a friend who they'll break up with their significant other and then they'll, they will go above and beyond to try to make you believe that they don't care about it, right? 
And I know this always happens with guys. Trust me, when I was in high school and I was in college, you're like, hey, oh, hey, man, so I heard, you know, Rachel b broke up with you or whatever. Yeah, bro, I don't even care. I wanted to break up with her. I broke up, I, pff, fuck, I was going to do it tomorrow anyway if she didn't do it. So, yeah, I don't even care. Anyway, you want to go out? Let's get drunk. Let's get some bitches, man. All I care about is I don't care about Rachel at all. <laughs> what the fuck do you think I am? Some sort of bitch? And, of course, what's the reality? They're overcompensating to the point where it's obvious that they care deeply and they're hurt and they're suffering. Same thing with these guys. Well, I don't get gay people. Yeah, I don't want to give them any rights. They're terrible. They're horrible. Who cares about them anyway? Yeah, <laughs> gay is that silly. It's gross. It's icky. It's a, you don't want to normalize that. It's terrible. 